What would MAGA be without Trump? If Donald Trump were to lose again, what would that mean for MAGA, do you think, for this, for all the people here? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think that the hope that we can ever be a great nation again and that my grandchildren can have the benefit of what I had as a young woman, I think that that hope is gone. Like seriously, what happens if Trump, when, if when, <laughs> Trump loses the election? Do they splinter? Do they, do they just go back into hiding, go back to normal? Do they get worse? If you were to lose again, what would that mean to you? We better uh, buy some more guns, ammunition, because we got uh, what's coming over the border right now is pretty bad. So uh, we got criminals running the show. George Soros, he's got to go. His son's got to go. A lot of people don't know his son's married to uh, Clinton's daughter. So that's, they're all keeping it entwined with each other. So they're keeping it in the money. The, the crooks are all running the show. You got Kamala Harris. I'm not going to be nasty and call her anything but name, but we all know who she is. You got Tampon Tim. Where did this guy come from? So, What is he talking about? Does he know how crazy he sounds? If Vice President Harris wins, how, what would that mean for you? If it's, if it's more of the same of what we're dealing with now, I can only imagine utter destruction for America. What would it mean for MAGA? It would demolish it. It would destroy it. There is no other like Trump. And that's why they're trying to kill him. They've, they've tried it twice. Yes. MAGA not being MAGA anymore would be a good thing, but I mean, we have to wonder what's going to come next. Is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? If Donald Trump loses, MAGA dies. I think that is synonymous with his name. I don't think he'll ever run again for president. Uh, I mean, his age alone probably would dictate that. So I think it is very detrimental. If she were to win and Donald Trump were to lose again, what would that mean for the MAGA movement? Well, I don't think that the MAGA movement is, is you know, ever going to end because people want to make America great. You know, Harris, the only thing that they want to do is let everybody across the border and ruin the country that we have and doing away with our rights and our freedoms. And, and can you be specific about that, rights and freedoms? Which rights and freedoms? Well, they're already coming after free speech. Uh, they're coming after the guns. As nice as it would be for MAGA to go away, we know that people like this don't just go away. If Trump were to lose, what happens to MAGA? They're going to still be here, <laughs> hoping for the next time. Who would be the, who would be the, the person they'd hope for? <laughs> who? Maybe J.D. Vance. Who knows? Even if the ticket were to lose, you think they'd still still be behind uh, Senator Vance? Probably. Oh yeah, he he got the same. He's doing the same policies. You know, I like Trump's policies. Harris, we don't know what she's doing. She won't tell anybody. <laughs> well, in terms of what? Be specific about that. In terms of fracking, she's saying she's flip flopping on fracking. Well, she's saying she's for fracking for the past. So what happens to MAGA if Trump wins the election? I don't even want to think about it. They become the mainstream. But we could go into tons of doomsday scenarios, right? I mean, you have Trump taking over the judiciary. You have him, Trump, you know, you know colluding with, you know, state governments and, uh, you know, being the day one dictator and you know, consolidating power and you know sort of normalizing really weird maga behavior like that would be normalized it would be it right now it's on the fringe it's but that would be that would be just the norm baby so trump losing the election i i am curious to see again uh what that would look like because there would be a power vacuum because there's no one to fill his spot there's no heir apparent DeSantis, you honestly, go to a Trump rally. Ask him how much they hate DeSantis. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. Oh, it's, it's not. It's not even though they really dislike him. Uh, you know, he has ties to the World Health Organization and World Economic Forum. DeSantis to them is an establishment. You know, he has their anti-trans values and everything. Uh, but you know, 
it doesn't uh, he's still establishment so uh, what I what I saw when I went to Miami Florida for Trump's indictment well, you know one of his indictments was it the secret documents one there's so many forgive me so when he went, when I went there they were all in a park you know thousands of them park and by the courtroom by the courthouse and a lot of MAGA politicians leaders came to sort of grandstand and make a speech that day none of it worked they came and they left because they could never attract a crowd because people were always going from the park to the courthouse the courthouse to the park and going back and forth and maybe there's a rumor that Trump was actually coming and he was going to be at the courthouse so no one could attract a crowd there's no one currently that has that you know, that can draw the crowds that he draws, that has the mythical outsider status. Sure, they'll align with someone, right? The same way that, you know, progressives were like, sure, let's just, you know, vote for Biden, even though he's more to the right of, you know, things that I want and blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, I mean, how excited were, you know, most progressives about Biden? Be honest. You know what I mean? So there would it go. So, um, but, you know, I think about it now, the Tea Party, the Tea Party. I mean, we look at that with nostalgia. That was like, oh, remember the Tea Party days, baby? I mean, we, you know, that was just, whew. I mean, you know, I mean, now, like you have Tea Party members that are, you know, vehemently against Trump. And, you know, what the Tea Party people want is not even that crazy in comparison I mean, these people are just, you know, it's the same small government stuff, but it's not, you know, there's not, you know, as much mental illness attached to it. So, uh, you know, the fact that W, George W. Bush, Cheney, Karl Rove don't seem as awful is is so telling. I mean, these these all three of them are against Trump for the right reasons. Uh, right now, there's been a huge push of like the far left, and this is like propaganda of, well, Cheney's against Trump because you know Cheney's establishment, and Cheney's uh, you know he's back in Harris because you know because uh, Harris is gonna you know carry on all of the same traditions that Cheney wants, which in reality that's just false because the reason why Cheney is anti-Trump now is because MAGA went and primaried his daughter, Liz Cheney. And he got a primary, she got a primary challenge. She got kicked out of office because, you know, she dared uh, question what happened on January 6th. And the, Liz Cheney is, I mean, her values align. She's very, very right wing. Cheney is, uh, Liz Cheney, Dick Cheney, both very right wing. Um, you know, both reel down with the Heritage Foundation. However, you know, they were like, all right, we love democracy a little bit more than we love whatever this is. So, um, I mean, my my hope with the future of it um, is that, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping, it's a little shot in Florida, that there is, you know, infighting, there's a power vacuum, there's, you know, it's a splintering. Uh, because that would be better um, that, you know, that they're not like, it's not 50% of the country. Um, my, my hope is that, you know, you have enough people that from the MAGA movement that join the labor movement. Because, uh, you know, there's a, there needs to be labor reform. There needs to be the revolution that needs to come in this country needs to be in the form of workplace democracy. Right? I mean, you, you know, like if someone can walk around and talk Bernie, and talk Bernie Sanders to these people, I think there's a significant part of the MAGA movement that are like, you know what, I'm vibing with this, right? And they, you know, they want something outside of the establishment. I mean, that is anything, you know, they, Bernie is the only other person that has that mythical, you know, uh, anti, you know, outside of the establishment, uh, you know, feel to him. Not the only one, but amongst the Dems. But yeah, I mean, they don't, he has, Trump is the ultimate outsider, the more traditional and Republicans 
disavow him, the better that looks for him. The more institutions that disavow him, the better that looks for for him in the eyes of MAGA. Because it's like, well, you know, obviously all of these institutions are corrupt. And when you ask them if they're corrupt, the corruption is never for the correct reasons. It's always for like, because, you know, Trump. Um, so I, I would like to see... Uh, I mean, no one's no one's going to do the I've been to rallies for years and I've interviewed tons of people. No one's going to pull those numbers, in my opinion, right now. No one's that I could be dead wrong and someone could just leap out. But I mean, that's those are big shoes to fill to be able to pull those numbers anywhere they go. There might be someone that has some popularity that gets, you know, a following here and there, but not to the extent, not to the mythological extent that uh you know trump has i mean that someone's not going to do that in that short amount of a time short amount of time it's not going to swap over that quickly there will be someone to you know fill that power vacuum and there will definitely be some fighting to fill that power vacuum uh, that i'm actually looking forward to that at post-election but no one's going to draw that crowd. DeSantis could never draw those crowds. Nikki Haley could never draw those crowds. Uh, I mean, not even by a long shot. So anyone that ran against Trump, you know, did not draw the crowds that he drew. And, you know, the you know, larger than life, uh, you know, mythology around him. So, um, you know, knock on wood, fingers crossed. Like, I mean, we're absolutely effed if he, he does win. And, you know, that's a whole separate video.